Hey guys, Eric Dragon Highlighter here, back again with another card of the week, and uh, this one's very, very exciting. I know I say that about every card I talk about, but uh, I guess I just really love talking about magic cards. Uh, before we get into this week's card, I just want to remind everybody to go down to the description down below, check out the promo code that I have for 5% off everything in store at enterthebattlefield.ca. Um, and check out, there's a link down there to my Discord channel, so you can come out and join us. We play games, we talk about cards, we talk about spoilers, we talk about deck building, we talk about rules interactions. We have a great time, it's an amazing crew, really, really fun place to be. Um, and also just want to encourage you guys to check out some of my other videos. Uh, I also do, aside from Card of the Week, uh, I also do some uh, deck tech videos. I've got quite a few of those up. I've got lots of gameplay videos up and I like to showcase um, a lot of the cards that I talk about here. I like to showcase the decks that I build and do deck decks on. I like to do those in the gameplay videos as well. So you can kind of see it all in action and see what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, with all of that typical YouTube stuff out of the way, uh, let's get into this week's card. It's going to be Light Mine Field. Uh, I love this card so much. It's great. Uh, so Light My Field is kind of like a prison piece, but not really. Um, and it's not very commonly played. It's in less than a tenth of 1% of uh, all decks on edhrec.com. Um, so nowhere near propaganda, ghostly prison, um, all of that kind of stuff. So what I really like about Light, Night, Light Mine Field is it's a four mana mono white enchantment. Whenever one or more creatures attack, Light Mine Field deals damage to each of those creatures equal to the number of attacking creatures. So if one creature attacks, Light Mine Field deals it one damage. If three creatures attack, it deals all of them three damage. Um, really, really great card. It scales up very, very well in the face of aggression. But what's super cool about Light Mine Field is that it also works aggressively for you. And we're gonna talk about that later on because it doesn't say whenever one or more creatures attack you, it says whenever one or more creatures attack. So there's some fun that can be had with that. Um, but I mean, obviously the main sort of direction that you're gonna to wanna to take this card is that it shuts down wide combat strategies it shuts down wide token strategies basically aggressive attacking strategies it really messes with their math um especially like mid-range kind of tribally um tempo decks anything like that it it's really gonna mess with their math um it just makes it very difficult for them to attack uh and what's cool about that is that it's not like other prison pieces where, like, say, for example, Propaganda, Ghostly Prison, things like that, they only apply attacks when a player attacks you, whereas Light Mine Field doesn't care who's attacking who with what, the creatures take damage. And I think that that's phenomenal. It's just, like, slows the game down for aggressive stuff. Um, and I'm very, very surprised to not see this played in more control builds or just kind of, uh, you know, pillow fort kind of strategies. Uh, I, I'm really surprised to not see Light Minefield not more heavily represented, uh, especially with like group hug and things like that. Like, I would expect to see something like this in a lot more decks just because it slows the game down and it, it makes aggression very difficult, um, which a lot of strategies really, really like. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, so what I like about Light My Field is that it generally just sits there and it keeps your life total high, right? Um, or it stops it from dropping too rapidly with a bunch of aggression. Um, it also works really brilliantly defensively if you're running decks that are really big on, uh, like First Strike. If you're running a lot of First Strike and Vigilance and stuff like that, Light Mind Field is brilliant. Uh, in basically any kind of mono white, you're going to see that kind of stuff present if you're doing a combat-based deck. Um, it also works really, really nicely with um, any kind of uh, Voltron strategy. So, like, for a Voltron deck where you're really only going to have one or two creatures that are attacking every turn, 
um, you know, you're only going to be taking one point of damage on your commander. Uh, but Voltron decks don't block particularly well, so they need a way to stem the aggression from the other side. Um, so, like, just a way to say, well, I'm going to attack you with my one really big stupid Voltron commander, but if you attack me back with your eight or nine creatures, they're all going to take eight or nine damage. Uh, so it's a really good piece for just kind of going in a Voltron deck and saying, whoa, whoa, whoa don't come back at me. I'm attacking you, and my commander is only taking one point of damage, two points of damage, whatever. Uh, so I really like it as a Voltron piece, um, just as basically providing kind of like a, a like like light mine field is basically just a, a field of defensive blockers. Basically, it's just like if you attack me with as many things, they're all going to take this much damage, just pretend it's combat damage, right? In that sense, that's sort of the way to think of it, as like a, a team of blockers for that gets stronger for everything that attacks you. Um, it also works beautifully as an aggressive piece if you're looking at stuff like um, a deck with a lot of dinosaurs that have Enrage. Uh, and Rage is a really cool mechanic that does really amazing stuff. And Light Mind Field just goes bananas with Enrage um, because it pings your guys and then gives you all kinds of stuff uh, off of their Enrage abilities. Uh, and then you've got stuff like um, Boros Reckoner Stuffy Doll kind of strategies where you've got all of those creatures that want to be like Coal Hauler Swine and things like that where you want your creatures to be taking damage as often as possible, um, and surviving that damage, and then dealing that much damage to all the other players. Um, so stuff with like Boros Reckoner, Cold Hollow Swine, Stuffy Doll, um, when they start attacking with a Light Mind Field on the battlefield, <laughs> like, you get a lot of damage in on your opponents before combat damage is ever dealt. Um, so it's really cool, and on color with all of that stuff. Um, it also works really, really nicely with anything that's like, uh, big butts, tribal, right? Like, so if you're running like Arcades, Doran, anything that wants like kind of the defenders that deal damage equal to their toughness, um, yeah, works, works really, really nicely with that stuff. Uh, Niles is a really good commander for this where... He's just constantly putting plus one, plus one counters on all of your stuff, and you're just making this huge wide board, and then you're not really attacking much. It's just kind of a pillow deck um, until it's time to swing out, and then you will, you know, be way above what the Light Mind Field can do at that point. Um, there's also stuff like Safara, right? Safara is a brilliant commander for a piece like this because she just makes all of your other creatures indestructible. So they can just swing in, take all the damage from Light, light, light Mind Field, it doesn't matter. Um, and they're just invincible to the damage from Light Mind Field, but it also means that people don't swing back at you. Um, and then that deck also has a ton of lifelink as well. Um, it also screws up opponent, opponent strategies that are very, very popular. So stuff like Timna the Weaver, uh, where she wants to have you attacking at least three opponents. I mean, if you're not playing a five or six player game, um, you know, you want to be swinging out with Timna at, at as many players as possible every turn. Uh, Light, Light My Field messes that up because it means you have to completely change your blocking math. It means you have to, you're, you've got to completely rethink your attacks um anything that is doing like ninjutsu unblockable anything like that uh where you want to be swinging in you know your uh uh your unblockable creatures that have hexproof and whatever that are really difficult to remove um anything like that uh light in my field just deals with it because a lot of the time those are just like dinky little screwballs right and they, they're very difficult to remove and they're very difficult to deal with in combat but light my field just shuts that stuff off it deals with a ninjutsu commander like that um <laughs> it shuts that whole strategy down um you've got stuff that wants to propagate kind of x1 tokens that are you know hasty and going into combat so stuff like valduk stuff like uh sequar death keeper um Anything that just wants to be making like three ones or four ones or whatever that are just like masses of them swinging out and then sacrificed at the end of the turn uh, just deals with those because as soon as they attack, they're dead. Um, there's just so many cool things that Light Mind Field does 
and it doesn't see any play and it like these are popular strategies these are popular commanders popular decks and light mine field definitely deserves the feature spot for card of the week um i i think that light mine field should see much much more play it's a very cool card and uh yeah less than one tenth of one percent of decks on edh rec uh, and there's so much you can do with it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here. Always appreciate you. Um, the <laughs> promo code is down in the description. Please check it out. It's a different promo code this month, so don't use last month's code. Use this month's code. Enter the battlefield.ca has 5% off everything in store for you. Uh, use the promo code. Also, come check out our Discord channel. Join us, play games, talk, hang out. And uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate you guys always. And we will see you next week for another card of the week. Cheers.